Hello, 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 my beautiful friends. It is I, Blitzo64, and this video is for new and returning players who don't quite know the ins and outs of cards and tankards. So today I'm going to show you 10 features that you probably didn't know about. Starting at number one, point and click. You can navigate all the menus with your finger or a pointer if that's easier for you. You can also use this pointer to grab out of reach objects. Just point and hold and they'll come find your hand. Most of the time, at least. You can also point and hold at players, leading to number two, social features. By pointing at a player, you can see their profile, which you can give them gems, add them as a friend, report, mute, or block them. When you have someone as a friend, their name appears green and will show which tavern they're in on your friends list. Green taverns on the havens list show that a friend is in it. But what if somebody isn't a friend? Number three. Moderation features. The player menu allows you to mute players who are annoying, block books and props, or completely block them from your vision if they're being a total pain in the ass. Blocking only hides them from your screen so they can still hear and see you and even battle you. And then if a player is being just completely horrible and breaking the code of conduct, report them and a moderator will handle that as soon as possible. You can also hide your cards from other players so nobody can cheat. And you can turn on personal space so that players disappear when they get too close to you. And so now that we've made some friends, let's... <coughs> Jeez. So now that we've made some friends, let's have an exciting new way to battle. Number four, bottle modifiers. By opening your props menu, you can grab this preset book. With this book, you can change your mana count, how many cards you draw, how many coins you gain, and tons of other things. And then to actually play, just bring the book to the table tattoo and then slap your deck in. But what if, what if you don't have any friends to play with? Number five, looking for battle. This little button right here will put a message right above your name and will let players know that you want to duel. When you have this on, a little sword will appear on the Havens list, so it's easier to find someone wanting to fight. But how can you battle if you don't know any of the rules? Number six, documentation. In the settings, by clicking documentation, you can see the patch notes, battle rules, the faction mechanics, keywords, and even deck tips. Pretty much everything you need to know about the game is right here. Except, obviously, links to my other videos, but um, if you're already watching this one, chances are you've seen the rest of them. And now that you know the deck rules, you're probably going to want to get, well, dripped out. Number 7. Gold Price Cosmetics. All of the cosmetic items from last season's Battle Pass, except the deck box and the card back, can be purchased for gold. If you're tired of begging people for gems to get cool stuff, and you just don't want to spend any real life money, save up a couple thousand gold to get some clothes or maybe even an axe for yourself. But what if you really do just want some free gems? 8. Tournaments. The monthly standard tournaments are hosted from the Discord server in the Events tab. Up at the top of the server, you can see the date at which it starts, the time, which is automatically set to your time zone, and a link to register. On the day of, you need to be there early to confirm your place in the bracket. You can also view all the tournament rules here. But tournaments are long, and what if your headset gets uncomfortable or your battery dies? And that is number nine, flat screen slash PC mode. Yes, you can play the entirety of the game on desktop, on PC, you open your watch menu with the escape key. On PC, you can enhance cards by dragging the coin to the card, not the card to the coin. And you also don't need to take out your deck book to start editing. Just grab the deck and it'll do it for you. Other than that, everything else is basically the same. You can link both your profiles by signing into them with the same email to keep all your stuff. And now that your peasant PC friends can play, what if you got some extra rewards for recruiting them? Number 10, referral system. When an account is being created, you can put their name as a referral code. It'll be one of the first things the game says after you create an account with your email. This will give them 1,000 free gold at level 5, and this will give you progressively better building rewards once they hit level 20. And just one referral gives you this really cool shield. It's one of a kind, really. There's really no reason not to refer somebody if you got this game through someone else. For example... Use referral code BLITZO64 to get 1,000 free gold. And there you go. That's 10 things for you. But hey, before you go, here's a couple bonus ones. If you click in both your joysticks, you can actually adjust your height. This is very good if you want to sit down 
or if you're already standing. You can re-roll your challenges by grabbing the paper. And it takes 10 minutes before you can re-roll again. And then you could do this with the stabs. Check out my video here if you want to see all the stabs in the game. And then that's about it. If you found any of these tips helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other tips that I didn't mention here, please leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to heart any good ones. The Carden Tankage 2.0 update is right around the corner and I'm hoping I can get some time to start making some videos on that. See you guys soon. Peace. I am Kratos. Boy. Oh, shit.